Good morning, good morning. It's Pastor Callie. I'm so glad to be on with you today. Thank. I want to thank my sister for leading prayer Monday and Tuesday. I just, I was traveling and I knew it would be easier for her to do it. And she does such a phenomenal job. Nobody can pray like my sister. So thank you, sis. And thank you, Pastor Jack, Pastor Cindy and Pastor Jack for helping. And, uh, I have a word from the Lord for you today. I'm so excited to be able to pray with you today. I am in um, the Northwest today, so it is really early here. It's 6 a.m. here. So I just honor all you Northwestern women that get up so early to pray with me every morning, and pray with one of our ladies every morning. What a blessing you are. And I just bless every woman this morning. I just declare the blessing of the Lord over you. Um, I got on the plane yesterday, and I heard the Lord say, you're possessing the gates. You're possessing the gates, and I'm raising up instrumental leaders and women. And you may not consider yourself instrumental, but oh, you are. Oh, you are. And I'm giving you the anointing to, to take, to repossess the gates and rebuild the gates. And um, so I'm going to unpack that a little more as we go. But, you know, in, in especially in the days of, in the older days where, um, you know, they had walls around the city. And um, if you breached the gate, that was the entrance to the city. And there's all kinds of gates in our life. There's the eye gate. We have gates. The ear gate. You can. You need to protect your heart gate, what you let get, get into your heart. There's the time gate. There's gates in life, all kinds of gates. There's the supernatural gate. There's 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 there are cycles for, for uh, for growing. Like if I want to if I want to if I want to go and grow corn, or I want to grow cotton, or I want to grow beans. There's gates of time and cycles that I must enter in to get a good crop, to get the harvest that I want. The Lord said, Callie, mothers of Zion, her voice, the ladies from her voice and mothers of Zion, and, and many millions of women across the world, but I'm talking America, I'm saying a million women in America, that's what I hear the Lord saying for us. We have entered a time that God has opened a door for us to rebuild the gates of our nation. To rebuild the gates, the foundations of holiness and righteousness and purity in our homes, in our nation, in our community, in our personal life. God is separating things. It's okay. That just means you're right on track. If you are feel like God is pulling things out of you, that means you're right on track with where God wants you to be. That is such a good sign. So, Lord, I'm going to I'm going to pray for us and then I'm going to read some scriptures and I'm going to pray that God will open your eyes. I've got two books here uh that I that I'm reading from and I I'll encourage you to get both of them. Uh, um and I'm reading some scripture as well. But I want you to understand, you're at a time and a season. And the men of Issachar, you know why they were so blessed? Because they understood times and seasons. Times and seasons are a type and shadow of a gate. It's understanding that you've entered into a gate. And God said to me when I got on the plane, you are, giving, you are being given the opportunity, you and a million women in America, are being given an opportunity to rebuild the gates. And you have entered into a time gate where my open heaven is going to bless what you set your hand to do. Now hear me out. He said, you and a million women have been given an opportunity to rebuild the gates of righteousness by prayer. Not by our own hands, but by prayer. And then he said, you have also entered into a time gate where my spirit is overseeing it. In other words, we're praying, um, we're praying uh, uh, prayers that are right. They're literally in the timing of God. They're not just projected prayers. They're now prayers. We are praying God's will and his pleasure is on it. And so the heavens are working with us to accomplish 
the gates being rebuilt and us entering into a time gate. Time is very important. You can't get a refund on time. You can't get a refund on time. I have found in my 60 years that, that things cycle. Things cycle. And so opportunities will cycle. And, and, and there's times that there is, for whatever reason, I don't under, always understand it, but there are certain times that, that I feel like uh, I, I, that God's hearing me better. It's a season or a time. Can't always, I can't always identify why. He's God, I'm not. But, but, we can be uh, very cognizant of Kairos time. And that's really what I'm talking about. There, Kairos time is a gate. And there are many gates in your life. And if we're close to the Holy Spirit, we will move in the Kairos time. We will pray the prayer that's the Kairos prayer. We will declare the prophetic vision, the prophetic sight, the prophetic will and purpose plan of God because it's Kairos prophecy. We will step into a business because it's Kairos business. We will step into a relationship because it's Kairos relationship. We will handle an enemy. We will defeat an enemy because it's Kairos enemy defeating time. Do you understand? So time is a gate. So we have entered into a time and a season, women of God, where we are at the gate of time and God has opened up his heaven and he said, I'm, you're in a gate of time and I'm going to give you, and if you'll hear me and work with me, I'm going to give you the anointing to rebuild the gates, the foundations of justice and righteousness in America. God has given us assignment. Now listen, Several months back, I kept asking God, why do, I, why do I just have to call women? Why can't I call men? And there's men on here that pray, and I love having men on here, but my main call is to women. And he, he didn't answer me for a long time. And then one morning he said to me, he said, Callie, the Jezebel spirit, now hear me out, the Jezebel spirit has bent this country over to the point that America's literally bent over, like holding her, her midsection. She's been, she's been hit in the very heart. You know, you, a bullet hits me in the heart, I'm going down. And, and, she, and I saw the, the country as a woman bent over. And the Lord said to me, the Jezebel spirit, the witchcraft spirit of Jezebel has done it. Now, I'm not saying that's all women, but I will tell you, that primarily a lot of times women operate in that in that in that demon and the feminist movement i'm not saying everything about women's liberation has been bad but i'm telling you in the last 15 and 20 25 years it's terrible and it has bent this country over and it's straight from the pits of hell and it's women that have aligned themselves with that and have spewed this mess all over our nation. And God said to me, I always come in the opposite spirit. I am calling you to call women because I am raising up a remnant, a remnant, a righteous, Holy Ghost filled woman, a million women that are filled with my spirit that stand for righteousness and holiness and justice and purity and marriage and babies. We don't believe in killing our babies. We believe in life. And if you've done that, God, God will forgive you. But it's, listen, I was tempted. I know what it's like. I nearly aborted. I nearly murdered my baby girl. And what a mistake that would have been. What a mistake that would have been. But God is raising up women that will stand. And so through our prayers, ladies, we are going to rebuild the gates of this nation. The gates. The Listen, this is one of the things that was said, and I want to say this, and then we're going to pray it for a minute. I love this. It says, this is, uh, battles are fought and won most of the time at gates, altars, and covenants. Now, now hear me out. Battles are, are fought most of the time at gates, altars, or covenants. 
To destroy anything successfully, you need to go to the foundation. And that is just what the devil has done to this nation. He's gone to the foundation of our beliefs and, and destroyed. To take and conquer any place or kingdom, you will need to take the gates. So for us, to, that's what the enemy did to us. He took the gates. He took the gates. But we are going to take them back in prayer. And then we are going to take them back in practical, um, practical developments, practical steps, doing the things we need to do politically, talking to our congressman, talking to our senator, letting people know what we believe and what we stand for, voting what we believe, voting with our money, voting with our mouth, voting in the ballot box. We don't need to support anything with our money that's evil. Do you hear me? We don't need to support anything with our money that's evil. Nothing. We need, to, we need to vote with our money. We vote with our feet. We vote with our mouth. And we vote at the ballot box. Now, we can do it all in love. And we can treat people with, with kindness. And we can disagree and still love people. But we have to speak up. We cannot be the church hiding in a, in a corner or hiding in a closet anymore. We cannot just hone up in our families and live our little Christian lives and not worry about the world, what the world does. We are to go into the world. We are to preach the gospel and we are to set the standard. We are to go in the world. We are to preach the gospel and we are to set the standard. We are to go in the world. We are to preach the gospel and we are to set the standard. I want to read these scriptures today. Genesis 22 and 17, that in blessing, I will bless thee and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sands on the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gates of the enemies. Listen to me, ladies, we are praying and God is going to help us possess the gates of the enemy and our seed will possess the gates of the enemy. We will train our children and they too will possess the gates of the enemy. Genesis 24 and 60. And they blessed Rebecca and, and said to her, thou, uh, thou art our sister. For thou art the mother of thousands, of millions, and thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. God, I just thank you that you are giving us the fortitude, the prayer life, the uh, grit, the Holy Ghost grit, the blood-bought backbone to possess the gates of the enemy. We will pray. We will fast. We will gather, we will invite, we, we will join, we will subscribe, we will invite, we will gather. I want all of you right now to share this broadcast. Say, we are praying for America and we want you to pray with us right now. We are praying for America and we want you to pray with us. Lord, I just thank you that we have entered into a gate of time. And you are calling these women. There are 347 of you right now on. You're calling these women. They are gatekeepers. They have been called to possess the gate. They have been called to rebuild the altars, rebuild the foundations, and to possess the gate. And this infiltrates your whole life. It's not just nationally. We are praying for a national revival. We are praying for a national turning, but this will affect your home. You are building a legacy for your family. You are setting in stone things that will happen in your children and grandchildren because of your sacrifice of prayer, because of your sacrifice of prayer, because of your sacrifice of money and time and, and all the things that you do as a woman, loving your children, loving your husband, loving your neighbors, reaching out. Listen, ladies, we must become the hands and feet of Jesus. We must become the voice and the prayer. Jesus must pray through us. He, he, the Holy Spirit must intercede through us. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you that, that these women are gates 
They are literal physical gates that will establish your kingdom in America. And I call forth a million women across America to establish the gate of holiness, to establish the gates of this nation of righteousness and justice. God, that we would enter into the time gate, that you have given us a gate to possess our land, a gate to possess our nation, a gate to possess our family. We thank you for revival across America. We thank you for holiness. We thank you for purity. We thank you, God, that you're washing us and cleansing us and purging us. We thank you, God, that there's such a heart in us to just draw nigh to you. I pray for every woman that's on this prayer cast. I pray for every pastor. I pray for every pastor's wife. I pray for every missionary. I pray for every ministry. I pray for every woman. You are a minister. You are a minister. You may not be a, a preacher in a pulpit, but you're preaching to your children. You're preaching to your neighbors. Your life is preaching. You are to go into the world and to preach the gospel. It's not just for the five-fold ministry. We are the ministry. We are the ministry. We we are called to do great exploits. I declare the blessing of the Lord on, over you. I declare that you will have ears to hear. You, your your uh, ear gate will hear the word of the Lord. I declare that you will have eyes to see. Your eye gate will see the provision, the way, the uh, the, the ways of the Lord, the, the leading of the Lord, the, the, the victory. You will have clear sight. I declare your mouth will be a mouth gate, a mouth gate of blessing. It, you will pray and fast and seek God and, and the power of God will be unleashed across this nation. The power of God will be unleashed across your home. The power of God will be unleashed across your children. Children. You will use your mouth for holiness and righteousness, and it will be a gate of blessing. I declare that your body is a gate, a literal gate that God is going to use, and he will enter into you and bring forth revival. There are leaders that God is raising up across America that have been called to the gate of their city. They've been called to the gate of their city. They have been called. You've been called to the gate of your city to possess the gate of prayer, to stand for your city to stand for your family, to stand for, for uh, everything that is right and pure and holy. You have been called. Say, I have been called. Say, I have been called. Say it. See yourself as called. You must begin to see yourself like God sees you. You must begin to see yourself as a fierce, mighty warrior woman for God. You must begin to see yourself as someone that stands in favor with the Lord. Listen, we're in a season and a time where there is an open heaven and God is hearing our prayers. Pray, ladies. Pray audacious prayers. Pray big prayers. Pray prayers that you know it takes God to feel. I call forth the blessing of God over you. I call forth the blessing of God over your family. I call forth the blessing of God over your marriages. I call forth the blessing of God over your children. I call forth the blessing of God over this nation and over our president. I pray and declare the blessing of God over Donald Trump. I pray and declare the, the blessing of God over him and his family. I ask you for wisdom. I ask you for supernatural power being unleashed over him and everything that's concerning him and this nation. I pray, God, for that righteousness and justice will prevail. I pray that righteousness and justice will prevail. I thank you for a, for a midnight miracle. I thank you for a midnight miracle. I thank you for an 11-11 a miracle. At the 11th hour, God moved. At the 11th hour, God moved. At the 11th hour, God moved. E I pray for your children. God is moving in your children. I pray for Jacqueline. Jacqueline, hear the word of the Lord. Rise up out of that bed and be healed. Lungs, be filled with the air and breath of God. Turn around, Jacqueline. Stand up and be healed. I pray for Dr. Pastor Manny. Hear the word of the Lord, Manny. Stand up and be healed. I pray that the breath of God is going into your lungs. You are healed. Jacqueline, you 
are healed from COVID-19. You are healed from pneumonia. You will stand and declare the works of the Lord. Manny, you are healed from COVID-19. You are healed from pneumonia. God, I just thank you that he will stand and declare the works of the Lord. God, you will use these wonderful servants more than you've ever used them in healing and deliverance and set free. Manny, you will preach the gospel all over the world. You will lay hands on the sick. No weapon formed against you will prosper. I declare healing over Sharissa Moon. I ask you, God, to breathe the breath of life into her lungs. Raise her up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Raise her up by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare anybody that's got COVID-19 or that's in the hospital, I want you to put it in the notes right now. And, and I want you to begin to declare it out of your mouth. Put it in the notes so that the prayer team can pray over them. Put it in the notes. There's 300 and 87 of you praying. They're, put it in the notes. God's healing COVID-19. He's healing pneumonia. He's healing bacterial pneumonia. He's healing everything to do with COVID-19. No, these women, these, this, these, this woman's going to get, these two women are going to get up. Uh, Manny's going to get up. And then John Hatcher, I declare John Hatcher, hear the word of the Lord. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Anybody that you know that's sick with COVID-19 or in the hospital, put it on here. God is healing. God is healing. This is a diabolical uh, virus. It's, I, I believe it's man-made. I believe this thing came from the pits of hell. I rebuke the devil in this situation that no devil in hell will have these people. God, you will win. Your will, your way will, will, will prosper and they will rise up and be healed. In Jesus' name, put the people in the notes. God is healing right now. God is healing right now. A few weeks back, God gave me a word of knowledge. He was healing someone with a tumor. They were rolling in, rolling in to the, uh, to the operating room. And, and, and she, couldn't, she couldn't understand English well, but she understood I said uh, tumor. And she understood I said healing. When they opened her up, it was gone. I'm telling you, God is doing supernatural. Anybody that's suffering with heart problems, I want you to put your hand on your heart. You're being healed right now. If you're suffering with any kind of heart, high blood pressure, Low blood pressure, uh, uh, high, glossemia, anything with your sugar, um, hypoglycemia. Um, I see God healing that. Um, blood sugar, high blood sugar. God's healing that. God's doing a work in your body. He's healing your body. read a couple of more of these scriptures. God is anointing us to take the gates of our city. To, to rebuild the gates of our city, to take over. The enemies had the gates of our city too long. The enemies had the gates of our time too long. The enemy has had the gates of media too long in this country. God is cleaning the media up in this country. I prophesy it. He is going to clean up the media. In fact, you're going to see things completely closed down. God is going to clean up the media in this country. It has lied to our country too long. It's coming down. It's coming down. There is going to be a cleansing of the media. You mark my words. There is going to be a cleansing. God is going to give us back the gate of media. God is going to give us back the gate of entertainment. No more filth and vile. God is going to... Christians are going to quit supporting Hollywood. You do not need to be supporting any of those movies that have any of that mess in it. We're going to quit supporting Hollywood. And there, God is going to clean up entertainment. He is going to clean up entertainment. He is going to clean up the political system. The, the, uh, the, 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 the sin and the, and the witchcraft and, and, the, and the, uh, the mess that's been going on politically across this nation is un unbelievable. And God's going to clean it up. There is a cleansing coming. There is a cleansing coming. And God's cleaning the church. He's cleaning the church. There's a line being drawn in the sand. There's a line being drawn in the sand. And you're going to either be on Jesus' side or you're going to be on the other side. Now, God will save you if you've got a heart. He's a good God. We serve a good God. He is a good God. But if you choose the wrong thing, if we choose sin, we suffer. But not because God beats us up, because sin leads to death. And these areas, these large, these media moguls, these technocrats, God is going to clean it up. God is going to clean it up. You mark my word. I prophesy God is cleaning it up. 
God is cleaning it up. And it's going to be fast. And it's going to be furious. It's coming. There is a cleansing coming to, to the technocrats and to the media. There is a cleansing coming. Matthew 16 and 18. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We are building our lives on the rock of Jesus Christ. He is our cornerstone. And no gate of hell will prevail against God's plan. If we stand in, in righteousness and holiness and in truth, we stand under his covering, we stand in prayer, we declare the will, purpose, and plan of God, no gate in hell will come against us. We will reestablish the gates of righteousness, holiness, and purity in this nation. And God has called us, women. There are right at 400 of us, 384 of us this morning. And, and I'm telling you, God has called us. He has put his hand on us. I want you to share the broadcast. I've got something I want to read to you. Okay. There's a book I want you to get. It's called Praying Mamas. I'm not sure when this was written, but somebody told me about it. And it's like reading about us. It's like reading about our call. She, the lady that wrote it is Nancy Brassfield. And I want you to go get it. But I was reading a chapter and I got to a chapter and it's called Tag Your It. Tag Your It. Well, just the, the, the title alone, I felt like the fire of God just flew into my heart. Like, oh, I, I just felt the presence of God. And I don't know if you remember that game as a little kid. We would pray it, play it, and you would relay races, and you would, or, or we would do tag, you're it, and they'd run with the ball or run with whatever, and then you'd wait, and then they'd pass it to somebody else. We've been handed the torch. Tag, you're it. We're it. We're it. It's us. And God has called us. To begin to gather women. I want you to share the broadcast. I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. Go get the book. Uh, Praying Mamas. I guess you can go get it at www.prayingmamas.org. And read the book. It's just so good. It's her stories. It's stories of women in faith. And praying mothers. But listen. This is what she said at the end of this chapter. And I want to read it to you. Praying Mama. We are not alone in this battle. Our commander in Christ is mighty in battle. He can be trusted to never um, steer us wrong or lead us away or forsake us in the battle. We have moved into the season of battle. I'm having a little trouble reading it because it's dark in here. We, uh, we have moved into, okay, no, no, no. She said we have moved into from the season of Barbie. Let me tell you what she was talking about. I need to explain that. She said when she when she first got, you know, started praying, her, it doesn't work, baby. When she first started praying, um, you know, she was praying bat for battles that were not. In, in other words, some kid took her daughter's Barbie and cut the hair. Or, or some, yeah, some kid. And she got mad at that kid and w went and, you know, was going to protect her kid for from another kid and from another mama or whatever. And so she said they were just, they were, she was having to pray for a little, she called them Barbie wars. And how many of us have lived in seasons where we, we were praying for God to help us forgive the person for knocking over our trash can or for bumping into my car or for, you know, uh, we're, we're praying prayers and it's, it's okay. Pray your prayers, even if they're elementary prayers, but we should move past that to where we're mature Christians. And then she said, but God will prepare you and you move into where you can really battle. And ladies, we're in a real battle now. We're in a real battle. I'm not praying that God would help me forgive my neighbor for knocking over my trash can. I'm not praying. I don't have any problem forgiving anybody. I'm forgiving people. That, that's, I'm just doing it. You, you just got to do it. You just got to forgive. We can't, we can't, we can't be, we can't be doing stupid stuff like that. We've got to move past those type of things and, and, and realize we're in a real war. And so this is what she says. Mothers are arising all over the world. Okay. She said, she said, hold on. 
he can be trusted and he, and he, and to not lead us wrong, lead us astray, or forsake us in the battle. We have moved from a season of Barbie wars to an era of guerrilla warfare. So just things that are real small. Now, I'm not saying they're not relevant, but they're small. To a place of guerrilla warfare, which will require violent faith to win. You need to write that down. It's going to require violent faith to win. Mothers are arising. She, I don't know when she wrote this. I think this was several years back. Mothers are arising all around the world who are being tagged by God himself to ferociously fight for their children and their communities. These warrior mamas will not be fighting alone, but will be standing with the strength of the king of glory who fights alongside of them. I love this. Praying mama, I declare, let your time, uh, no, I'm sorry. Praying mama, I declare, it's your time to arise. You are the rising stars of the new era. Don't wait for the future. Build the future on your knees. Build, oh my God, I nearly jumped out of my seat when I read that. Build the future on your knees. You are paving the way for breakthrough and supernatural restoration of your righteous seed and their future. We are rebuilding the gates. If you are reading this book, okay, there's 397 of you listening to me. If you are reading this book, listen closely with your spiritual ears. Perhaps you will hear the voice of the Father declare, tag, you're it. Identifying you as a vital part of the prayer movement of praying mamas or mothers in Zion. I reiterate, where there's a praying mother, there's always hope. God, I just thank you. I want you ladies to go get this book, Praying Mamas. Nancy Brassfield, go to www.prayingmamas.org. Lord, I just thank you that where there's praying mamas, there's hope. Where there is 394 praying women, there is hope for a nation. There is hope for our families. There is hope for a, for a billion soul harvest. There is hope for a million women turning Roe versus Wade. There is hope. There is hope. I declare there is hope. There is hope. God, we love you. We adore you. Ladies, listen. I want you, we have our first, our first prayer event is in February, February 25th and 6th, okay? Uh, 25th and 6th. I want you to get on there and sign up. I will put the deal where you can click on and, and sign up to be there. Thursday night is free. It's a prayer rally. We are going to gather a thousand people in for prayer. A thousand people in for prayer. And it's a big space so we can spread out. We can spread out. It's a huge space. So we're, we're going to be having uh, that uh, prayer, uh, Her Voice Prayer Rally at Hillside Church in Mont Bellevue. And so it's a huge dome, so it's a very safe place for us to have it. So we're going to have it there. That's Thursday night. Friday is going to be an equipping uh, Holy Spirit uh, Freedom Day, and that is a $35 ticket, and that will be at the top of this broadcast. And then uh, Friday night is free, and we're going to come back, and we're going to bring the lost in, and we're going to see people saved, and we're going to see people delivered. Uh, if you're in Houston... Get there. If you're in Texas, get there. Planes, trains, and automobiles. It's a super large space. Um, it's going to be very, very safe. And we'll be able to spread out, but we'll be able to pray and see God do great things. If you want to give to this initiative, we're going to be doing seven of them before July. And then after, after July, I'm sure we'll do more. We've got the second half of the year, but that's what we've got planned. But if you want to give toward this, you could go to celebrationoflife.com, uh, 
uh, and then just go to the giving, hit the giving tab and look for Her Voice Rallies. Put your, put a, put whatever in you want to give and then hit the Her Voice Rally tab, Her Voice Rally tab. And every dime of that is going to facilitate these rallies across the nation. And we have had already many amazing gifts, supernatural gifts have been given already. So we're so thankful, but we know that at the second half of the year, we're, uh, God said to me when we were planning this thing, we figured it figured up about two hundred and forty. Well, actually, to the penny, two hundred forty-two thousand dollars we needed, and uh, I, I'm I'm happy to announce that supernaturally God gave us the money immediately. He just gave it to us, and so we have it. We have the first half of the year done, okay. And I don't mind telling you that was it was supernatural. God, we didn't even have to ask. God just gave it, okay. But here's the deal: when I was sitting at the table here in here in here in uh, Crestview. In October, the Lord said, you're going to need a million dollars because he says you can't see what's going to happen in the second half of the year because you're going to be blown away. So we're going to, we're going to go forward with this after July. And the Lord said, you won't be, you're not even going to even believe what I'm going to do, how powerful it's going to be the second half of the year. So that ought to just encourage your faith for that much money to come in that fast. God's behind this. This is good ground to sow your seed. We are preaching the gospel. We are, we are gathering a million women to pray, tag your it, tag your it, tag your it, come into the movement. We are gathering a million women to pray, and we are going to see thousands of people saved this year by the power of the Holy Ghost. We're going from city to city. I am so excited about what God is doing. So there, this is definitely blessed ground, and so you can go to uh, colbaytown.com forward slash giving. And I'll have it at the top of this broadcast. And then also we'll have a link for you to sign up for your $35 ticket. I really want to encourage you. That just basically helps us give our... Uh, our speakers a little bit of a blessing and 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 that that's really all that's for um the expense part of it the trucking everything we needed has been paid for for the first six months now once we get into the second half we will we'll need more so anything you sow will be will be set in that account for that use and we're so thankful it could not be better ground uh to sow into god is doing so many wonderful things i love you so much God bless you. God bless you. I just declare the blessing of the Lord over you. I prophesy blessing over you. Uh, take your communion when you get off of this. And I want to encourage you to use your prayer square. Get your prayer square out and finish out 20 minutes with your prayer square. I love you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.